Either it's gonna make a whole bunch of power, or we're gonna have a whole lot of oil and parts all over the ground. If that's something that you might wanna see, subscribe to the channel and you won't miss it. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. This is my twin turbo C5 Corvette. I just wanted to kind of introduce the car to the channel, give you guys a heads up on kind of what to expect with it, just where it's at right now and what's been done up until this point. So this here is a 2000 Corvette fixed roof coupe. It is not a Z06. It was actually a convertible and I converted it to the Z06 roof from a 2004 Corvette Z06. Convertible and the Z06 actually share the same quarter panels, trunk lid and tub structure with each other. So that made the conversion pretty easy overall to do. It's not as much work as you would think. Moving on to the good stuff, we got a bunch of holes. We got a hole here, hole here, hole there. They're all there for good reason though, as you can see. There's also another turbo on the other side. There's a big hole in the hood for the Holly High Ram, simply because, let's face it, they look awesome. This guy, he does a whooshy noise. That one does a rut, rut, rut. And uh, that's about it. It's a cast iron six liter block with a 408 K1 stroker kit. Built motor, built rear end, and built trans. It has aftermarket axles as well. The car does need a lot of little cleaning up and stuff like that, but overall, the car's together, it runs, it drives. Absolutely love driving this car, and it is a driver. The car made just over 940 horsepower to the wheels. Um, now, this was before I had swapped the cylinder heads. Now, it has a set of LSA cylinder heads, what would come on the CTSV or ZL1 Camaro. Um, since then, I have not had the car tuned for power. I have driven it around, the car is happy, it drives fine. The car on 15 pounds made 940 to the tire. However, it was out of injector. These are 80 pounders in it and it has a meth kit which was keeping air fuel ratio in check. However, we really don't wanna depend on just methanol to keep the car alive because that'd be a really expensive oops should that not work out. Last summer, towards the end of the summer, I took it on a quite a road trip. So it was 1,600 kilometers each way from home. And I drove around quite a bit while I was there. I put almost 5,000 kilometers on this car in one week. And it did not skip a beat. This car still has air conditioning, wipers, everything, everything the car came with, it still has. Aside from the middle section of the hood and a couple holes in the fenders. Oh, and the exhaust. It doesn't have a, <laughs> not a big deal. Unfortunately, this car has always had a drivability quirk where in parking lots, when you start it, especially with the air conditioning on, the car would always shut off. If you had the AC on, you start this car, sometimes it would just kind of bump up and then bleh, die. Drive around in parking lots, bleh, die. Come to a stoplight, bleh, die. You get the idea. That's something that's always been a struggle with this for the last few years. I wanna fix that. That's why I got the Holly Terminator X. I'm gonna install that myself because I, I'm sick of just having a car tuned and then you get it back, you gotta bring it back, and if something you don't like, you bring it back, get it back. You know, they're, they're, when push comes to shove, like I'm just done. So I wanna do it myself, I wanna figure it out myself, at least give it a try. And if I can't, you guys will know, and then I'll bring it somewhere and it will be fixed. So that's all soon gonna be fixed, hopefully, thanks to the Holly Terminator X Max system. It has the uh, little display here, a little wideband O2. And if you're not familiar with the Terminator X, what it is is basically a, they call it a self-learning uh, computer. So it uses a wideband O2 sensor to calculate air fuel ratio. And if it's too rich or too lean, the computer will automatically adjust. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the install the setup, the tuning, I'm gonna tune it for drivability, cold start. Once I'm good with that and familiar with the program and how it works, we'll rent some dyno time and I'll tune this thing for power. Overall, I think it should go pretty smooth. The install, I read through the manual and stuff. It seems like it's pretty simple to get going and uh, you know get things running. So hopefully all of the Terminator stuff will sort out the problems that I have with the car and uh, you guys will be coming along for the ride to see exactly how it works. The weather's shaping up here, uh, except for today. It was nice this morning. Now we got a lot of rain or a little bit of rain, but you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers, leading into more horsepowers. So stick around if you wanna see more on this car, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.